Ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a brand new episode of The Bachelorette this week. You know what? I don't like to brag. I know you don't like to brag, but we called it. That there'd be a new episode this week? No. Or nope. Final Four. Oh, Final Four. That's right. We put out our preview That's last right. week. That's right. Haters will say it's Photoshopped, <laughs> but we did not look at spoilers ahead of time. We just knew. I mean, it, really, if you have half a brain and two eyes, you would have known that Adam and Matt were the two guys going home tonight. Which... Jury's still out if we have either of those. <laughs> right, collectively yes. even. I mean, who knows? Uh, but uh, it was pretty obvious, and so we are left with a final four of Dean, Eric, uh, Peter, and Brian. Yeah. Which we saw coming in from a mile away. So, of course, in case you didn't know, we are two bros to brick. Wherever we break down the who's, what's, if, fans, or butts of Batch and Batch and H. So let's dive into week number seven. All right, so we start off by going to Switzerland. Mm -hmm. And Rachel, first order of biz, throwing out the playbook. There's going to be no rose ceremony <laughs> yeah. at the end of the episode. No. She doesn't mean TBC. Right. She means no rose ceremony at all. Yeah. She's For once, not a TBC. Seriously. So she's going to have three one-on-ones mm -hmm. and a final three-on-one where one of those guys is going to take the final four spot. That's right. But, you know, technically she could not give a rose to one of the three one-on-ones, but... Right. We're yeah. not done. Yeah. And especially with the guys that she was picking for the, the <laughs> yes. one-on-ones. I mean, yeah. 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 Uh, so, Brian gets the first one-on-one, -on -one, mm -hmm. and she tells him to get ready. <laughs> Apparently, that means wearing a suit. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I know, we were talking about that. She just vaguely says, get ready for the date. And God forbid he got Peter's date where they go to the <laughs> Alps. I mean, he's showing up in that three-piece suit. like he, He's just blue in the face, like, holding <laughs> Rachel. I'm ready. Uh, so, I don't know. I guess he just lucked out on that. Uh, yeah. So, the first order of is Rachel pulls up to the scene with her seal and missing right. in a yeah, she sure fresh does. Bentley That's right. outside. Mm -hmm. Brian, like a gentleman, opens the door for her. Where do they go? A Swiss watchmaker. Yeah, yeah. They go and they try on some watches, which uh, on the surface sounds like a pretty lame date. I mean, I guess, you know, Swiss are known for their watches. Sure. Uh, but it quickly becomes a very... Very cool date when Brian finds out, yo, you get to keep that watch, dude. I think I saw a flicker in his eye where he didn't know if he had to pay for the watch. Right. <laughs> and I was yeah. thinking, like, I, Brian's excuse easily could have been like, hey, you told me to get ready. You didn't tell me to bring a wallet. Yeah. Which is exactly <laughs> yeah. what I would have been. Like, exactly. Oh, you know what? These two oh. pants, yeah. the back actually has a sewn in pocket, so yeah. I couldn't fit my wallet. <laughs> you got this, right? Yeah. Oh, man. I'll no, get lunch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, I'll get lunch. Uh, so Brian gets the take the watch home, man. Yeah, which is a pretty dope gift yeah, for somebody watch. that's on like their what fourth date, maybe. I don't know. Walk away with some pretty sweet merchandise. Yeah, he really does. Um, but after that, they go to a dinner where we just keep going with the theme of Brian speaking in these really vague, right. and clouding all of his language in these really vague terms. Right, because Rachel was bringing up some conversations that they should probably have had a while back, and uh, Brian just keeps reassuring her that uh, it's all gonna be okay, it's all gonna be okay. Yeah. It's just kinda like they talk about anything, but they don't ever really like talk about it, you know what I mean? Well, and today he went to a story about like how he took his last girlfriend to a wedding in Colombia, and the girlfriend and his mom clashed about something and neither wanted to compromise and ended up breaking up the relationship. Mm -hmm. And again, like it really matters what they were clashing over. Yeah. Like yeah. did Brian's mom want her to take Brian's last name and she wasn't willing to do that? Right. Or was this girl like a copycat Dexter killer in Miami <laughs> and Brian's mom was like, hey, if you're going to marry my son, you got to stop that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's just like, you know, with Brian just constantly reassuring her that everything's going to be okay, everything's going to be okay. You know, it reminds me of like a, a contractor that's coming into a house for a job. I watch a lot of HGTV. I know yeah. what you're talking about. Yeah. Who's so focused on getting the job that despite the fact that he right. might not actually be able to do it, he's just saying, yeah, we can do this. We can do this. No problem. And then the deadline comes around, in this case, the real relationship, and it's like, oh, wait, I'm actually not equipped to do this job. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's like, oh, you wanted to hang out like, Every day for the rest of our lives? Like, can't right. you subcontract out, like, right. I don't know, like, meaningful or, like, emotional lunches with some of, like, your gay friends or something? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I don't know, man. I don't think he's ready. I I, I agree, but uh, we're going to be taking a trip down to Miami next week, I guess. Mm, so to quote my man Will Smith, we are going to Miami. <laughs> the next day of the evening is with Dino. And uh, if you thought that Brian's gift was killer... Oh, wait till you get a hold of what Rachel got for Dean, my man. Hey, it was Sunday. 
Rachel wasn't about to miss church. <laughs> That's right. So uh, old Dean got free coffee and scones after yeah. Sunday service. Not a cathedral tour. Yeah. Not a tour of all like the holy sites in Switzerland. Yeah. <laughs> he got to go to a church. Yeah. And sit through a service. He might have been able to get a light a candle. That might have been a, the the five cents that they had to <laughs> donate might have been a little too rich for Rachel's blood. I mean, you look at Brian gets a watch and <laughs> Peter gets to go to the Alps. The three on one day goes to a different country, and Dean goes to church. Uh, he must have been so pissed, like when he got started talking to those guys back at the uh, at the uh, hotel. Yeah, like, seriously. It, I mean, you got to do what? Yeah. Like, I, you, why couldn't I have opened up a Swiss banking account? Or like eating Swiss cheese, something. Exactly. I think right then and there, that shows us where yeah. Rachel's priorities yeah. lie. And That's Dean's true. days are probably numbered uh, yeah. past I think, I think Dean's four. looking at this like, uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, uh, they go to church, and then they end up going out uh, for, you know, uh, some tea or coffee or whatever, and then dinner later. Uh, but the overwhelming theme of the date is that there's some kind of awkwardness where Rachel's trying to get serious with Dean, and Dean just seems to be kind of pushing back and uh, not really willing to open up. And it turns out that he's harboring uh, some kind of nervousness about Rachel potentially meeting his family. And the amount that he was like worked up about it, you would think like his dad was like abusive or yeah. like tells racist yeah. jokes from time to time. Mm -hmm. Turns out he just missed like a couple of lunches after <laughs> after Dean's mom died. I, yeah, I mean that's the it's way like Dean make your own lunch. That's the <laughs> You're 15, learn how to put two pieces of bread together in between me. I mean, that's the way that he made it sound. Uh, and I don't know, I mean, you know, we haven't seen the family. Uh, it looks like yeah. next week uh, there is going to be some major drama that happens at they, Dean's place. They look eccentric. They, yeah. They may or may not live in a tent. <laughs> right. Dean's dad may or may not wear a turban. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. Uh, but uh, I don't know. So we'll see what ends up happening. But needless to say, I think if the... Uh, dates were any indication, and the preview next week is any indication, I think Dean probably might have his last episode next week. To take this off Rachel for a second, I don't think Dean necessarily treated it with all the amount of respect he should have. He wore a t-shirt with a zip po <laughs> breast pocket. I mean, when she went to go give him the rose afterwards, she was like, where do I, where should I pin this? Do I? Yeah. yeah, honestly, I was, I was like, is she just gonna have to drop it in the breast pocket? Yeah. Oh, just put it right here. I got the, just, just the in Dean. case. Just take up your wardrobe a notch. Yeah, yeah. All right, so after the Dean date, Rachel takes Peter, they get into a helicopter, go to the Swiss Alps, get into a dog sled. Yeah. And they go across this glacier where all of a sudden Peter's telling her about how hard it's been that he can't see her all the time <laughs> after their one on one so long ago. Yeah, uh, I, I, just know, really, I just really felt bad for Peter oh, in that Scott. moment, you know? <laughs> yeah, seriously, man. Uh, but hey, dog sled. That's a dope date. No, that is. That, that is a dope date. Uh, yeah, and I actually, quick time out, they were actually not just on any glacier, they were on Glacier 3000. That's right. Which I think maybe Peter named <laughs> after like his, right. his VIN number or his <laughs> manufacturing number. That's where the secret layer that they build the Peter robots lies. The Peepot 3000. Exactly, yeah, yeah exactly. it's his home facility. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so they go dog sledding, uh, and then they end up having a conversation where uh, Peter admits that when it comes down to the end of the show, if he's there, uh, he might not be willing to get married. And that presents, you know, a little bit of a concern for Rachel considering mm. she wants a husband at the end of this show. True. And if she can't get it from him, she might just get it from the other dude that she's got, you know, an equal connection with. And why is Peter hesitant to give himself <laughs> fully to Rachel? Because of some bullshit story that I just want to take the time out yeah. and talk about. Yeah. Because between us and the people who comment on our thread, mm -hmm. it seems like the biggest point of disagreement is how we feel about Peter. Right. We have not been shy. Right. We don't love him. Right. The, the people who watch the show seem to really like him. I'm just going to tell you why I don't like him. He seems like the kind of guy who on a job application when asked like what your biggest weakness is, he goes, uh, I care too much. Yep. I just, I just give too much. I work too hard. Right, right. Because he tell this story where it's like he's looking in the rearview mirror as he breaks up with his last girlfriend and he sees her break down and it just causes him to break down. It's like, oh, wow, what a hero. Right. You don't even think of yourself in that moment. Right, exactly. He's trying to frame his weakness as something that, you know, is... He's just so selfless. Exactly. He but, didn't give him time for him to heal. But even when he's talking about that whole scenario, I mean, he says something along 
along the lines of, uh, you know, I just can't live with myself knowing that uh, maybe I had something to do with her tears. <laughs> it's like, dude, you fucking think? I mean, <laughs> you broke up with her. It's like, no shit, you made her cry. I mean, God. It's like his his programmed algorithm was saying, be sympathetic, be sympathetic, be sympathetic. Right. And, uh, I, I don't know, it just came off as... Super robotic. I know. There's there's a bug in his algorithm where he can't show emotion without it looking very <laughs> staged. He has to do that. Well, even I mean, even the even the tears. I mean, did, were those real? I don't the, think so. Even the gulp was exaggerated. He was like, gulp. Yeah. Yes. Give me one second. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, we're gonna see if the algorithm is gonna take him all the way to the top two. And uh, I kind of feel like it is, but we gotta. We had a quick stop in Wisconsin next week first. Yeah, which, according to the previews, I guess his mom and Nick Vile's mom go to the same barber. <laughs> yeah, the only salon in Wisconsin, apparently. I think you go in, and you, as soon as you can get an AARP discount, yeah. then you can just <laughs> one haircut. Our fourth and final date of the evening is the big triple threat ladder match to the death. Uh, the three-on-one between Adam, Matt, and Eric. Yeah, and she, Rachel does not waste any time. She gets down to business right away and <laughs> yeah. eliminates Matt, question mark? <laughs> That's his which, name? Yeah, which, I mean, hold up. Like, who <laughs> thought that that elimination was going to be so damn dramatic? Well, here's, here's what I, mean, I thought. I holy cow! I thought the same thing, and then I was like, or is she crying because she knows she has to pick one of them? <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, because because she literally told Matt. She said, "You remind me so much of myself." Which Ooh, what? Let's take her at her word, I guess. But yeah. we don't know. <laughs> we don't know that. That's for sure. Uh, but Matt goes home pretty fast uh, with a glass of champagne. I might yeah, have, so and good for him. You know what? This was kind of our first in the back of the car interview. Yeah, and it was pretty abbreviated. Yeah, it was pretty. There's abbreviated. been a significant lack of that this season. Yeah, I, that's that's true. Since some of the early exits, we really haven't gotten a whole yeah. lot of that. Um, I gotta say, real fast, uh, I kind of wish we had seen a little bit more of Matt because honestly. Uh, he seemed like a pretty solid dude when they showed he him. He seemed like a reasonable guy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I kind of feel hey, bad for ripping him these he's, past couple weeks. He but. stole two pretty hot kisses from Rage yeah. as he was leaving. Good for him. Good for him. If you are someone who's been able to steal two smooches from your ex as you're breaking up, <laughs> hey, congrats. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Uh, but then we move on to a very awkward dinner between yeah, uh, Eric, Adam, and Rachel. Uh, and once again, uh, Adam just comes out of nowhere and has a conversation with Rachel that honestly, I thought between Adam's conversation with Rachel and Eric's conversation with Rachel, Adam seemed to have the one that made more like progress that got to Rachel a little bit better. Uh, yes, even though we were starting with zero yeah. <laughs> with <laughs> right, Adam. Right. But Adam seemed to have trouble getting his head around accepting the word difficult. Yeah. Which seems to be really like the only thing I'm going to remember about him. Not difficult. It's a challenge. It's a challenge. Which, Don't say the word difficult. Which we looked up the word challenge. Difficult in the definition of the word challenge. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I, don't I don't know what his one. problem with that was. I don't know. But uh, he's got a big challenge on his hands <laughs> coming up. And that's finding a new girlfriend. Because he got <laughs> sent home shortly after that. Yeah. And you know what? I, I did some research on Adam last week and I found out that he went to U of A and mm -hmm. played football mm -hmm. right around the same time that I was at U of A and, and played, played football. football. <laughs> <laughs> right. So yeah. I felt like I got to know who this guy was pretty, pretty right away. Yeah. And so I'm thinking Rachel dodged a bullet because I think his hometown would have been like <laughs> getting the, the password to get into a frat party without any cover. I think it would be yeah. like, yo, dude, I know this sick party at Baylor. <laughs> That's and right. Then, and now he's in the, the limo going away. He's like, I'd like to see her try to get in without me. <laughs> That's right. Good luck getting in, yeah. babe. Yeah. Don't say what if around me. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man, but um, it's going to be Eric. Next week, where we go to Baltimore, yeah. and uh, it'll be the first time he's brought a girlfriend home, which, I don't know, that seems kind of crazy to me, but... Um, given his age. Given his age, yeah. exactly, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah, and uh, you know what? I, I We were wondering if hometown, the location of it, how would have anything to do with Rachel's decision, mm -hmm. and clearly it didn't, because yeah. she chose Baltimore <laughs> over Dallas, yeah. where her family lives. So I think Eric was the clear front runner out of, out of these three. Side note, what position in football did you play for U of A? Mm, uh, I was uh, more of a utility guy. <laughs> <laughs> they, really, they put me at really any position. All right, so that wraps up week seven of The Bachelorette. We are leaving Europe, going back to the States for hometowns. 
And uh, Logan's walking off the set. He is—he's pissed. <laughs> he is mad. No, no, no. no. Well, I'm, 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 who, who are you mad that uh, Adam went home or Adam or uh, Matt went home? Yeah, I'm just—I'm distraught. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. But it would not be a two bros and some brick. Two bros and some brick recap. That's the Red Bull talking right that, now. That was a sick remix. Without the stead of the night. Bam, 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 bam. There we go. So we touched on this with Dean's date, but mm -hmm. Dean seemed to get kind of screwed when it came to the uh, uh, total amount invested department of the dates. That's right. He uh, got screwed for sure. Uh, and just we, two Rosenbrick uh, research department, decided to dig a little deeper and get an exact price on how much he got screwed. That's right. Because if you remember, Brian got a watch. He didn't just get any old watch though. He got a Breitling Navi Timer 01. So this is the same brand that, by the way, supplies James Bond with his watch. Yeah. So yeah. this doesn't go for cheap. That's right. For all we know, this might have some lasers <laughs> and guns in it. I mean, it might have a you know heart meter and who knows? This isn't one of those watches you buy at uh, Target and says mm -hmm. like, hey, you can keep this on the shower if you want. No. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. We don't even know if it's waterproof. That Yeah, he might. I don't think they upgraded. Yeah, I don't know. But anyways, uh, a Navi Timer 01 will run you exactly 7 thousand nine hundred and sixty five buckaroos which is the exact same amount more than Rachel spent on Dean's date. <laughs> exactly. Uh, she didn't come in with the scones and the orange juice. That was supplied no. by the church. Exactly. As, as was the Holy Spirit, though. So at least he walked away with that. You know what? And you can't put a price on that. <laughs> That's right. You could not put a price when, on that. When, when Dean and Brian get up to the, the gates of St. Peter, St. Peter's like, you know what, Dean? Come on in. And he's going he's gonna to send Brian pro possibly to hell. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Unless the Navi Timer's got like a you know ticket to heaven in there or something. Okay, I don't know. maybe. But you know what? Greed is one of the seven deadly sins. That'll send you right to uh, the devil's place, if you ask me. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, with that, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. So, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you can join us next week, and the week after that, and then I think maybe one more week after that? I don't know. We only got a few more weeks of Batch, but right. we're always going to be here, so yeah. you can join us for that. But also connect with us on Instagram. Mm, yeah. At Two Bros Brick. Uh, I, we took a little break this weekend. Uh, both of us were out of town, mm -hmm. uh, but we're gonna be back at it tomorrow. So get ready to uh, tap that that uh, get ready to tap that picture twice. <laughs> That's right. Get those speakers ready. Start doing the stretches. You, you, you can edit out the part where I uh, stuttered, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. That's easy. That's easy. <laughs> uh, until then, we will see you all next week. And a doff of the cap to you. Adios, y'all.